Hello everybody, welcome. It's Jonathan Senor Smoke here at Kurtos in Westchester County, the Ring of Fire. Um, and uh, we're coming at you here from beautiful bucolic Yonkers, New York. Um, I am, um, uh, you know, I want to add one more what the hell, one more alfresco video to the, uh, to the litany of other ones that I have on YouTube. Why the hell not? Um, there is actually something as I was, you know, recently thinking about like, you know, is there anything else about this grill that I could actually discuss that I haven't done on video or on a blog post yet? And the answer is yes, there is actually something pretty important. Um, and that is the, uh, the, the, the alfresco being the fact that it's one of the few, if not the only premium gas grill that actually breathes. Yes, it breathes as a respiratory system. I'm going to tell you about that right now. And the reason why that's important is because it actually, um, lends to the event, the longevity of the grill and per the, the, its ability to protect its innards from heat. So let me get into this. Um, Al fresco, if you go on the website or you look at any literature, or if you deal with a salesperson, an appliance, or an outdoor store that knows maybe halfway what they're talking about or maybe is semi dangerous, they might talk to you about things like the solid fuel box and BTU output and boring shit like that. Um, what you want to you want to get really granular and you want to ask about the um, air curtain system. Okay, what is the air curtain system? The air curtain system is when you pull out the al fresco. Um, uh, drip tray you'll notice that there is a gap in the front of it and this people will typically ask what is this hole here for what you know why doesn't the drip tray extend all the way to the front well there's a very good reason behind that um, what happens is when gas is ignited it actually pulls ambient air um, from the surrounding area towards it and what alfresco did is they looked at um, all of the things that to the, the things that have the highest incident rate of breaking down on a grill and this is the case whether it's like a Weber or it's an alfresco it's a Lynx I mean the things that go are what the igniters right and the um, the wiring both of which are housed right in the front behind the um, uh, the control panel the manifold of the grill so um, with the brains right behind the knobs and such and being next to the firebox yeah there's probably a very good chance that that stuff is going to burn out and uh, will be replaced sooner rather than later so what Alfresco did um, they did a few things and in, in, in to, to really build up the resistance of the grill to these um, uh, to, to, to these uh, to the heat and to these things that are going to actually damage it in the long term um, and I talk about this a lot I talk about the fact that the wiring uh, and the igniters are sheathed in um, um, silicone sleeves which are heat resistant up to like six to eight hundred degrees and we've talked about that a lot that's actually in a lot of their sales literature as well but this air curtain system that they've devised as well is really ingenious so you ignite air so ambient air is basically sucked into the grill um, the, from the surrounding area and what happens is it goes into this air curtain system which is literally the hole that's cut into the drip tray and travels upwards okay the other thing you'll notice about an alfresco is that there is a small gap okay between where the grates start and the bull nose so a few folks have asked about that. There's a reason behind it. It wasn't faulty welding. They have the small gap. So the air that is being pulled in from the gas ignition, traveling up the manifold, the control panel, washing the wiring, the igniters, the back and the knobs with ambient air from the outside, right? And then it will expel from the top over there. So thus, the grill literally is inhaling and exhaling. All right, and what that's going to do is it is going to create this curtain of air, which again is going to take temperatures down somewhat where the brains of the grill are. Now, is it bulletproof? Hell no. You'll eventually your igniters will burn out. Your wiring will you know will go after some time. Your wiring harness, but the fact that they've given thought, significant thought and have changed things in the grill over the years to extend its life, whether it's the silicone sleeves that the igniters or the wiring is in, or the air curtain system that they've, that they've built. To me, that like raises the confidence level in the manufacturer. And if I was in the market to buy one of these high-end premium gas grills, right? Um, you know, the whole talk of like BTU output and what kind of stainless you're using and do you have a spring assist on the hood or not, that shit just gets boring after a while because everybody's doing the same shit. 
something like this is next level all right this is absolutely next level thinking and that's the kind of manufacturer or product that i'm personally drawn to so um i don't have a demo here to show you you've probably seen an illustration that i popped up on the screen right now i can't demo the air getting sucked in but um that hole in the drip tray that gap is there for a reason and it's to allow your grill to live longer um, I'm happy I could pass this information along to you. I think it's important. Um, if you have any other questions, please hit me up at Jonathan at Curtos.com or come visit me here at Curtos in the Ring of Fire um, if you're in the tri-state area. Folks, oh, by the way, we do ship these grills nationwide for what that's worth. I'm happy to help if need be. Um, that's it, Jonathan at Curtos.com. Thank you.